Hi everyone, it's Phoebe here from Phoebe's Creations and I'm excited to be sharing with you guys today something new. Uh, this will be a new series called Fresh Start and it's currently featuring Ella Turner. And uh, her traits are right here, foodie, creative, loves outdoors and uh, because of all that she gets to be a collector. And part of the reason for starting all over is that some of my videos really weren't doing the greatest. I think they were, I heard a few comments that they were hard to get into and that is really my fault because I had made them when I had the family, I had recorded them as the family was like halfway grown up. So I had loved these sims and adored these sims but you guys didn't get to see them from the very beginning and so I apologize for that and that's why this one's kinda called fresh start and we're gonna this is her first actual day in the game um, from the very beginning and I think that will help out a lot and uh, so yeah so uh, this is uh, Ella Turner and something that was very exciting for all the simmers today was pool November so I had to of course add a pool in I just couldn't help myself and so I kind of made it like a little bit of an odd shaped pool but I just wanted to have fun with it and so I haven't actually done anything with the pool except for build it and see it right here in build mode so and when you go in there you have these options so I'm playing with no cheats I did of course use all of her money up pretty much as you can see and this is their uh, her house so far and I did run out of money actually uh, so there is no painted walls and I do apologize for that it kinda looks pretty bad but like I said we're playing from the, exactly the fresh start and so we've got pools and I heard there were swimsuits in here so uh, we're gonna go and check that out and her aspiration is a freelance Botanist, plant uh, something ten times and weed or water plants ten times is what we currently need to do. Uh, so I heard there were bathing suits in here and I'm not quite sure where they are. I know that I had built a sim uh, the other day uh, so before the updated part was in so we're gonna go into that. And the other reason for kind of getting a fresh start is my computer uh, had some problems so I kind of lost everything and I had to go and do a full fresh start. Um, so this kind of works out all around. And over here after party as you can see there is swimwear. So this is the first time that I'm seeing all this stuff and I'm seeing it with you guys. So I haven't seen any of this stuff. So it looks like there's a hat and we already had sunglasses here. And for the bathing suits, I uh, got bikini, a tank, or a uh, Bermuda suit, or I forget, I think that's what they call them when they don't have the straps. Ooh, that's really cute. I do love these patterns. They did a really good job, is what I'm seeing right away with the colors. And looks like you can wear your running one, uh, your real bra, and uh, your tank tops full body oh we did get one that's really pretty I like that looks tropical and that one's pretty cool too here's more of a casual one all right and then the bottoms yep they just match these actually would make sense I saw these in running clothes before those aren't new but yeah that works perfect so yeah these are the new suits like I said I hadn't seen these before so everything's new and I'm really excited to get her in a swimsuit so I think we're gonna give her a white hat and what suit I do like that one but I think we're gonna stick with this that just looks cute so we'll have her in this one and then because I can't help myself uh, we're gonna take away the hat and give her hmm, 
We'll do this one. We'll do this one. But what color? I always have a problem. I'm sorry that I'm kind of indecisive. Uh, I think everyone has either seen that or learned that by now with me. And so, uh, since we're in Create a Sim right now, I just want to show you guys. I made her outfits pretty plain Jane. Uh, just because, you know, I figured, you know, we're kind of starting out and there is no university in this game and I understand that. Uh, but I just kind of thought, well, you know, when you're first starting out, you don't always have everything that you need, whether it's in your house or clothes, so why not just uh, make her look like she just got out of college or something. So that's kind of her background story. And we've got these tables and stuff for crafting uh, so we can earn a little bit of profit. But we need to find a job because we currently don't have a career. And let's see what comes up. So we have secret agent, painter, writer. Okay. I think for her, since she kind of wants to garden, she could either do culinary and that would go pretty nicely. Or we could do the painter career. So I think we're going to do a painter, 9 to 5, pretty standard. And uh, she's a palette cleaner at 9 a.m. She starts Monday. So we've got today to kind of get used to it. And let me just see if it tells me. No, okay. So since we all are excited about pools, why not jump in here? And first off, you get swim here or swim laps. All right, so she jumps in. And you can sit on the ledge. I had been seeing that in the pictures. So she can swim laps around. And actually having that feature is actually really nice because I remember in The Sims 3 that your sim would sit there and like tread water. But if you wanted them to like consistently move around, you had to, you know, keep clicking. And that got really annoying. So it looks like she won't swim around this one, but she will over there. And she can also uh, sit on the ledge. Okay, I don't know why she won't sit on the ledge. Uh, maybe we need to go into build mode. Like I said, I haven't seen this before. So, everything in here is new. Oh, and I forgot to even check. So there are like little details that you can put in the pool and there's lights again. And I didn't even see any of this stuff. Uh, because I just, I got all excited about pools and kind of jumped right in. So, this is for the fountain. And it's saying that we can't put it on there. So, I'm wondering how we get them to sit. And I'm not really sure, so I might have to find out another time and then, uh tell you guys later but let's try it one more time see if she'll get on there nope she won't okay so that might be just something that I don't understand so uh, I'll have to google it later or if you guys know you can comment below all right so since we've started to swim and that's cool let's get her to paint a painting to get kind of ready for tomorrow and we're in the cheaper district obviously uh, and I'm not sure if it affects your tax or your um, bills or not which district you are in but I just thought you know that kind of would make sense and let's see we've got some interesting NPCs over here but no one that we really really wanted to talk to just yet who's over here Yusuf and Blaze Oh, maybe let's go say hi to that guy. How's her painting coming along? That's really pretty. I haven't actually seen too many of the paintings that Sims can make because I haven't really been 
playing that yet. Why won't you go and talk to him? Uh, let's see. And he's gone. That's a shame. But I don't see anyone else. Oh, here he is. I was too impatient. Let's do a funny introduction. And he's probably like, what's wrong with your house? You have no decorations. Oh, he's kind of cute. He has a mustache and goatee. All right. What's your deal? Let's get to know him. Well, tell an outrageous story. And let's discuss our interests. Joke about politicians. And let's ask if you're single, because we're just curious. We're just, we're just curious and mingling. And funny story about Ella here. The reason why I had her have kind of the botanist traits. For Ella was because originally I was going to do a farming uh, series and kind of living off the land, you would say. And so that's what Ella was meant for. But um, I think I will do uh, a living off the land series uh, for something to come. Just not with this sim, obviously. So if that's something that you guys would be interested in, um, please let me know. Like, give me some feedback on Twitter or YouTube or whatever. Um, because I just thought that would be something cool to do. And I'm not talking about, like, you have at, you don't use any electricity. I just thought I'd keep it to a minimum and do something. So I have some really good ideas for that. So um, if that's something you'd like to see, just let me know. Like I said, and <laughs> let's enthuse about outdoors. They seem to be getting along. Uh, but we don't want to get him bored or anything. So, and for romance, I did forget if he was single or not. So we're just gonna keep going along as if he's not, and see what happens. And uh, we'll discuss fine cuisine. And, uh, yeah, she's happy. He seems to be flirty, so that works. And she's trying to flirt. And he does his, like, little hand wave. All right. Whatever floats. I just love how they're ex they're so expressive when they talk. I used to be a constant fast forwarder through the game and to some extent I still am but I love to like stop and see the sims instead of like smelling the roses I guess um, so she's embarrassed so we're gonna ask him for reassurance and now she's back to being happy so let's gossip we'll share a secret and <laughs> ask about day. We could ask him to move in, but I don't want to do that right now. I don't really know if she wants a roommate. And apparently he's a snob, so that's kind of interesting. Wow, it's only half of the day so far. And let's give him a heartfelt compliment. Tell a funny story. And now that we've kind of done that. Let's do a smooth recovery and see if he's receptive. We know him a little bit better now. What a cute suit. I just love the palm trees. I want to go back to Hawaii so bad. Oh, I did realize that we completely forgot to look at what shoes they can have because I see she has flip-flops but I didn't change the color. So, uh, please forgive me. I just realized that. And, and like I said, this is literally my first moment, you know, being in the game um, since the patch. So, um, I think he has a girlfriend or something because he's not going for it. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him goodbye. And we're going to quickly go use the bathroom and get something to eat. Huh? 
Yes, you should get going now because I told you to. Okay, and then let's travel to another lot. See if we can see any other sims. So she's going to get that in on her phone. And I think we're going to go to the park. The club might be a little bit busy. Or, yeah, I think it might. Let's go to... Let's go to the big park. I hope eventually at one point in time they will let us create our own worlds. That would be something that I would really enjoy. Uh, I recall it was pretty hard in Sims 3, but... Or, not hard, but it took a lot of time. But it would be something cool to do in this game. Alright, so since we're at the park, let's change our outfit. And, uh, let's see who these people are. Mortimer. Rez. Let's say hi. She just kind of runs over. Zuzu. Okay. And let's say hi to Mortimer Goth. Who's in the bathroom? <laughs> I guess her name's Ivy. We're gonna kind of bathroom stock people now. Alright. Let's get to know him a little bit better. Tell a joke about penguins. And so now we're in a group conversation, which I really like because you can talk to Sims a lot easier now in a group of people instead of like singly talking to them, which is really cool. And he might have commitment issues or something. I saw like two broken rings. Not sure what that was about. Let's see who else is at the park. And again, it's a big park and they were kind of serious about that. Oh, she's walking around. She's kind of angry. Ooh. Maybe we'll leave that alone. And who else? Not really seeing anyone here. Sometimes you can see like other people walking. And we got level 2 of charisma skill, so that will help. I'm not really sure what kind of things it takes. Uh, level 2 painting skill and view or admire three different works of art. Alright, that doesn't sound too hard. Uh, let's discuss fine cuisine. Let's just get to know them better. Since the other couple people left. Alright. Nabakuz it? Ha ha, quink! They seem to be Soup getting along alright. Let's say hi to who is this? Kayla McQueen. That's a cool shirt. And now she's become playful, and it says being funny comes easy to a playful sim. Try practicing some jokes on a microphone or with other sims. So, we'll do an implyish plus pester. And let's uh, flash our crazy eyes. Share our ideas. Oh, it looks like we said something that he got mad about. Okay, so it's 7 o'clock, so we should probably eat something again. So, let's see, where is the grill? Oh, right here, we just missed it. Okay, so we can make a hamburger, hot dogs, tofu dogs, or a veggie burger. Let's do hot dogs. And who is this? Crystal. Let's give her a friendly introduction after dinner. Let's go meet her. She has really pretty hair. 
She looks like Ariel right now. Lamar Discuss interests, ask about day. And why is she like talking to me backwards? I mean, that's cool and all, but turn around. There we go. Cool. Nabakuza? Oh, quink. Doba Harfin. Tuga. Chilo Panive Baima. Ah, so shum. Vinfahab? Yeah, you know me. Uh huh. Doyum. Da buste. And we're getting to know her. Comedy is level two now. She's having fun. She looks like a nice roommate, but I wonder what her traits are. Let's get to know her better. She's family oriented and she's childish. That could be pretty interesting. All right. Oh, I can't get to know her again. All right. Well, we're going to finish our hot dog. And then I think it's time to go back home. So let's go back to our lot. And the loading screens really aren't too bad when you first start out. It just, it gets to a point where if you have like so many sims and they have so many offspring and over and over that it gets kind of annoying. But at the beginning it's pretty easy to move around. So my sim's tired, but we're gonna have her clean up her dish first before it starts to smell. And finish this painting. I think we have time to do that. And I'm just gonna fast forward the time here. Okay, cool, this one doesn't look too bad. Okay, so she's viewed it, so that counts. And since I have nothing else, I mean, since I really have nothing else right now on my walls, why not put some artwork up? So this quality is okay. And she looks like she's going to pass out. So we're going to go to sleep. And I think I'm going to wrap this video up. So this was part one. Uh, featuring Ella Turner. And yeah. We're starting from the very beginning. And just kind of getting the hang of things. And now there are pools. Because it's pool November. So that's pretty awesome. And we start out in the regular district. So stay tuned for part three or part two excuse me and we didn't really do anything major in this video but i just wanted to show you her get to know her and uh i really want to try and get to know some neighbors uh so that we can kind of play with the npcs more in the series uh because i know sometimes you get too wrapped up into your own household so stay tuned and uh see y'all soon